تعالى وإذ فرقنا he split the sea into two parts and from that comes فرقان because فرقان discriminates between right and wrong and فرقان is which is one of the names of the Quran is the it gives you guidance to, to differentiate or discomplete. Then al-firaq is separation. Firaq in, you know, when we are together and then everyone goes a different, separate uh, uh, way, then this is firaq. Right? And then tafarraqa, the same thing. You know, is uh, when people are together and then they spread the, the leaf. Tafarraqa usually is applied to a group of people. But al firaq can only apply to two to people. And then firq is the, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala split the sea, kullu firqin kattawd al azim. The two parts uh, became like great mountains. Mm. So firq is the is a part that has been separated. And faraqa oh. is when somebody mm. leaves. Yes. So tafarraqa, uh, does it is it because of any dispute any dispute or mm. or it could be anything? It could be anything. Could be, okay. You know you say tafarraqa al jam'u yeah. the group were they were here hmm. and the meeting ended, then they tafarraq. Hmm. The sects are called firkas and wudu. Pardon me? Yes. Sects, you know, different sects? Yes. They are called firka. Firka. Yeah. And then so, there's anything tafarraq also in Urdu means that there are difference of opinion yeah. between the people. Tafarraq. Yeah, that's where I see, you know, uh, that's where. Certain words took different meanings mm -hmm. in Turkish and in, mm -hmm. in Urdu. Urdu yeah. For example, firqa is any group of people. You know, you say firqa til kashafa, the group of yeah. scouts, mm -hmm. boy scouts. Mm -hmm. Or uh, fariq mm -hmm. uh, is a, a, a... No, no, fariq, fariq. is... Uh, is a group of people, you know, it's, it's a club, for example. Yeah. But in Urdu, fariqs mean a party and a dispute. Yes. This fariq? Not real. No. Fariq, no, no. Fariq, 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 fariq means part a fariq. group yeah. of people are party. Yeah. Part, part Not, fariq. that is your understanding, mm -hmm. that that is it because it's, it's of... It's a common understanding. Well, yeah, yeah, when it is, it becomes... That's, you know, this is exactly what I was saying, you know. In, in Arabic, there are uh, words which has general meaning, it can't be applied to, mm -hmm. yani, for example, fariq. Fariq is any group of people, mm -hmm. you know. A, a, a group of people that are uh, connected with something common. Mm -hmm. So they can be, uh, it's like team. Mm -hmm. Fariq is like a team, right? Mm -hmm. But you, ha you gave it the connotation of political mm -hmm. uh, differences or something which is a specialized, uh, you know, to, to do this in Arabic, you have to add some adjective. Mm -hmm. You say, Fariq al kura mm -hmm. the team of, of soccer. Mm -hmm. You say, al Fariq al-Siyasi, the political yeah. uh, party, party mm -hmm. and, and so on. Faraqa, uh, can also be used in a completely different way, meaning became afraid, which is, is, is not related to this. So sometimes words are formed from the same root, but they can mean completely different things. Mm -hmm. so for example, tafriq and Urdu mean discrimination, and also mean minus, like when mm -hmm. you do subtract something from something, yes. it's tafriq. called tafriq. Yeah. And same, same like for if you discriminate against someone, there's also a free. Well, this is organization of the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very right. And, and that's, 
you know, these things are very tricky, especially for people who are translating things. Yes. They, they have to know the context so that they would use the same, uh, the, the exact word for it. Like Farooq is also, I think, from Farooq. Yeah, Farooq. Farooq, Umar Farooq, he differentiated between... Between, between right and wrong. Yeah, he was very strong yeah. in discriminating. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? If you don't mind, the, the word Faraka, yeah. well, could you please re... Faraka means walking out. Yeah, okay, Far. He, wa he walked out. Walked out. Yeah. It could be physical yeah. and it could be uh, uh, metaphorical. Okay. For example, if I dis disagree with you, mm. then then I, yeah. I leave, yeah. meaning that I, I, I'm against what you start thinking. Mm. Or I can simply use it to, to mean physical uh, departure. So how, how, how will you, you will use it in a sentence? Uh, you could say Mahmoud uh, Faraka uh, Ashab. Uh, he he left. Uh, he left his his companions. Oh. Or Mahmoud. Balach Raza. It's not. It's better to use. <laughs> Something else, yeah, like for example, you say Bilal Faraka Ibadatil Ausan. He left the okay. worship of idols. Oh, okay. Right? So you can use it. Faraka, Faraka. Faraka, yeah. So you can use it. Left. Okay. Thank you, sir. You want the record? Yeah, inshallah. Thank you, sir. Firaq means Firaq 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 is extensively used in Urdu poetry Firaq and Misal Yeah Like when two people are separated it's <laughs> yes. called Firaq Oh yes When they it's meet no it's Misal Separation Ismail It's Misal Misal Wusal Yes Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Joining Yes Wusal yes. Yeah in Arabic we use Wusal as well yeah. Yeah. And we use with Saul, we use it in that context, yeah. that when people are coming together because they love yeah. each other or, yeah, yeah. or they... Even somebody died, it's also said Misal because he is meeting with God. So it, it was their Misal. They see. have gone to their... That's a Sufi, their, yeah, Sufi, Sufi expression. Sufi. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So oh, when uh, in the era of Hazrat Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like at that time, like there were so many poets yes. in that time. So how is it now? Like, do they mean? still practice poetry or who? Like the Arabic, the Arab, the Arabs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They do. Yeah. That's the best language, I think. Some people in the well, it's it's uh, poetry is a bit. Excuse me. Uh, you know. Because because there in, in the Quran it says as mm. the, the poets are being followed by those who who gone astray. Mm. So there was frowning on poetry at that time. Mm. But the Prophet had had his own point. Hassan ibn Thab. You know. So I think if you use the poetry for a good cause, hmm. then it is allowed. Okay. But for example, they hmm. used to uh, the Arabs at that time. They used to use poetry uh, to praise women? Uh, alcohol. Oh, alcohol right? and women as well. Uh, and women and and all of these things. Okay. So these were frowned upon. Yeah. Okay. The poetry was also used for slander. You know, Hajo. Like, uh, I think it was Mutanabba, what, what was that, the poet? In the well, there are many. Yeah, yeah, but he was very Mutanabbi, famous for, uh, yeah, Mutanabbi, he was very famous for his slanders. Yeah, well, the, there were always these disputes between different poets. Mm. And that would call someone else names 
and the other will respond to. Poetry was used also as, uh, you know, for expression of pride in, in the tribe and so on. So there is a lot of, of jahiliya in, in the 